everyone. In this video you're going to see an entire shoulder workout from start to finish, starting with this exercise which is for your side delts. So this is just mimicking what you would get if you were doing a side raise with dumbbells. I just like how this cable machine feels. Not many gyms actually have this machine so I'm pretty excited that uh, my new gym has this. And what I normally do is four to five sets of this, either to start or as a finisher to get a really good shoulder pump. So what you'll see now is I will move on to another exercise, so another cable exercise, but this time for my rear delts. So rear delts are just the back of your shoulders. For beginners, they can be a confusing muscle to train because they're really hard to feel working and also they're not very strong. So you can see on the cable machine here that I've only got very light weights on the machine. Now two tips for you is to think about taking your arms out really wide before you bring them back and to also add a good pause with every rep so that you can really activate those rear delts. So you'll see here it's starting to get really hard, but I'm going to squeeze out a couple of extra reps. So I think that's the last one, and then here you'll see just a couple of little ones. Just getting that very last out of my muscles. So the next exercise is for my side delts again. This time just doing partial raises, so only coming halfway up, but really focusing on squeezing those shoulders with every rep. This is actually a lot harder than it looks. I really like this exercise at the moment because it's easier on my elbow joints than training with dumbbells. And uh, it's not very common, but uh, yeah, really one of my favorites. So the next exercise is going to be for my rear delts, this time on the reverse fly machine. And what I've done here is frozen the frame so you can see the position of my body. So I'm really leaned into the pad with my chest and I'm, I'm sitting back on the seat so I'm sort of leaning forward. And the reason I wanted to point this out is because this is the position that I've found just seems to work the best to make this machine feel more comfortable for me. I know a lot of you struggle with this machine and sometimes honestly the machine depending on the brand is just not going to work for women's bodies but um, play around with your positioning on it and try this leaning in technique and see if it feels any better for you. And again really think about bringing your arms out wide with this before you bring them back and that should help activate those rear delts. So normally on shoulder day I might do a couple more shoulder exercises but I actually felt like doing some biceps at the end of this workout so what you'll see here is me moving on to some no money curls. I like no money curls at the end of a shoulder workout because they hit your biceps but when you bring the weights around and back like that you're actually incorporating your shoulders as well. So the lighting was a little bit dodgy in this corner of the gym, but we were trying to find a place where we could uh, get you to see the muscles actually working. So what I've done here is I've actually frozen the frame right there so you can see my shoulder muscles popping out nicely with that curl. So that was it. This was the workout and after this I just played around with some biceps. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching.